Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray that y'all are blessed today in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that y'all still fighting the good fight of fate and waging the good warfare. It's a beautiful day today. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Hallelujah. Let us give glory to the Lord. Let us praise and worship God and have reverence for him. This is a big thing with the Lord Jesus Christ. He is looking for his people to have reverence and respect in a fear, knowing that he is a king. And he's not just a king. He is the king of kings and he's the Lord of lords. And this morning while I was in worship, the Lord spoke to me. And, um, yes, I, I wake up in the morning and I worship the Lord. And um, sometimes I just get into deep worship and sometimes I get into deep prayer. Sometimes all I do is worship. Hallelujah. But this morning while I was getting into worship and just doing a little bit of praying, I started to play with the cat while I was entering into worship and the Lord spoke to me and it was like a rebuke but it was also a revelation and what he said was that his people are supposed to reverence him and see what he was saying personally to me is that he wanted me to totally focus on him when I was in worship and prayer not to allow any distractions to take away my focus. And um, he was rebuking me. But also what he showed to me. Is this is what's going on in the congregations of the world. Is that people come together and congregate. And God doesn't release his manifested presence upon the congregation. He doesn't release his blessing. Because there's no reverence for Jesus. There's no respect for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There's no godly fear to know that, hey, we are congregating and we are coming into the presence of a holy God. And because of that, God doesn't release his blessing. You can go into most of the churches and there's no presence of God. And let me say this, the presence of God is tangible. It's a manifested presence. And it's tangible. It is something that you can experience. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive and well. The Holy Ghost is real. And when you have a reverence for the Lord in worship, when you have a reverence for the Lord in prayer, when you have a reverence for the Lord, when you come together as a congregation, God will release his manifested presence upon you hallelujah to the lamb of god but when there's no godly respect when there's no godly reverence when there's no godly fear god will withhold that blessing from you and we see that going on in the congregations in the world you can go into the churches people are letting their kids be a distraction people are playing on their phones they text messaging and they're supposed to be congregating to come into the presence of the king yet they just allowing themselves to be distracted their minds is centered on other things their hearts are centered in other things when their hearts supposed to be focused on Jesus and because of that God sees that and what he does is he withholds his presence. He's a holy God. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. And he is to be respected. And if he is not reverenced amongst the congregation, he will not release his blessing of his presence. He, if he is not reverenced upon you in your individual personal life, he will not release his presence. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. 
We think about if a person was to go in front of Donald Trump, who's considered sort of like the king of the United States of America. You think that they would be sitting there text messaging on their phone when they go into the presence of Donald Trump? You think that they would be letting their kids run around and just being a big old distraction while they in the presence of Donald Trump? No, they would sit there in full attention, having respect and reverence for the president of the United States. How much more should we as the body of Christ, when we come to the presence of the Lord, when we come into prayer, when we come into corporate worship, should we come with reverence for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And this is what the Lord spoke to me this morning. That is, people don't reverence him. So there's a withdrawal of the presence of the Lord. The reverence of God is no, it's no more important anymore. There's no respect for Jesus. There's no respect that he is a king, that he is royalty, that he is majesty. And because of that, God is withdrawing his presence. And you can go and you can see that most of the congregations, they are dry. There's no presence to the Lord. Most people's personal lives, they are dry because there's no reverence to the Lord. There's no godly fear. And because of that, God does not manifest his presence. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The Bible says he inhabits the praises of the people. He inhabits the worship of his people. He inhabits the reverence of his people. He will release his manifested presence when you come and bring yourself in a place of reverence towards his majesty. Hallelujah. John 14, 21 says, if you love Jesus, you will obey him. And his father will love you and in him, him too, he will love you and he will manifest his self to you. He will manifest his presence when we bring ourselves into a place of reverence towards him, obeying his commandments, doing things as he wants us to do. And when we get together in a corporate congregation, there must be reverence. You can't just have kids running all over and people playing on their cell phones. God sees all that stuff. And that's a disrespect to Jesus Christ. That's a disrespect to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And what he's going to do is he's going to hold back his presence. And what's going to happen is people's going to get dry. Hallelujah. And it's going to become a flesh thing because they are not willing to bring order to the congregations. They are not willing to bring order to their personal lives. And uh, it's going to go dry. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So let's be reverence towards God. Let's have a fear to know that Jesus is a king, that Jesus is royalty, that he is the king of kings and lord of lords. He is the king above all kings. And when we come into his presence, we are to have reverence. Hallelujah. So reverence the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Give him reverence. Have a fear for God. Hallelujah. So glory be to the Lamb of God. I just pray that y'all bless today. It's the fear of God that perfects holiness. And there's a big old helicopter coming. So y'all be blessed in Jesus' mighty name.